we have literally just arrived at our new pet friendly apartment in Bangkok. Drove all the way from Chiang Rai, very sleepy, but I'm gonna do a pet friendly apartment tour now before we mess the place up because we've got like a three bedroom house worth of stuff to move into a studio executive suite. So let's have a look at it before it gets messy. Now, if you don't currently follow our journey, then you won't know anything about our old Ford Escort or our dog Eden. But we have just moved from Chiang Rai down to Bangkok for four months and we wanted to find a place that was pet friendly. So we are now in the cozy corner or the cozy inn, depending on who you ask. Got a car load of stuff to unload. One rental car and one old banger. And then, start a new life in Bangkok for a few months. So come with us and I'll show you around. Now the cozy corner is in an area called Chom Tong and the rent for a executive suite is well we're paying 8,000 baht per month plus 500 baht for the dog fee plus we're renting a fridge off them so we don't have to buy another one so that's 300 baht a month. If you stay longer you can negotiate a little bit less but let me tell you that price in Bangkok is very cheap. It's also a hotel, so we stayed here as a hotel once, that's why we know about it. As you can see, there is a shaded car parking area. There is this nice little patch of trees here. I guess this is the only grass that Eden's going to be able to use because they've now built an art studio here and before there was just a patch of grass there. Eden might have to go for a little wander to find a place to do a wee you have to pass through a mini security gate on the way in and then if you've got a key you can go straight up so let's go in okay so they have three dvds a reception area up front free wi-fi is also included in the cost of the rental so you get little code when you come in which is pretty good because that saves us like 600 700 baht per month on the rent or on the utilities. Let's go up the elevator. <laughs> Premature door. Right, so we are now on our floor and I'm going to show you the view out the window because we are quite high up. We chose one of the higher rooms. So let's have a look down the corridor. Not the prettiest view, mostly buildings. But still, we like being high so we can see the sky. I'm pretty sure we will get some sunsets from one of these windows. You can even keep an eye on your vehicles. Okay, let's get down to business. You want to see the room, so... Huge. Who is this woman? Who is that little lady? On a bed? Someone naughty? Good girl. So, welcome to our new home. As you can see, it is quite bright. Now, this is something that I'm surprised about because I've been to other Bangkok apartments and they are very dim. So, we were quite pleased that there's quite a lot of natural light coming in here and it's quite a nice, white, modern looking room. Yeah, so let's around. walk around. Yeah, show you around. Shoes off. So, huge queen size bed air conditioning and artwork on the wall. A nice little flowery display on the right there. Sasha has just counted... 12 plug sockets. We like to count the plug sockets because in most hotels and apartments we stay in, in Thailand, they'll give you like one silly plug socket in a hidden location. And so 12 so plug sockets for a room this size is pretty good. This is what we are paying an extra 500 baht for. And I think it's worth it. And if you look at her for long enough, you will love her enough to agree. Now I mentioned downstairs that we paid extra for a fridge because we didn't want to bring our old one with us, so we sold that. So now we're renting this one for 300 baht a month. And it's quite a large size, let's show you. It's a double fridge and freezer, good size. And it's very clean. Must be new. Non-smoking. Now we opted for the executive suite because we wanted the little office area which comes with a little bit of storage too, five drawers on this side and a chair and there's another bit around the other side too so let's just do a little walk through past this shelf unit um, here with another two massive 
storage areas. Yeah, that's good. Now, there, there would be a TV here, but we opted not to have it because we don't watch TV. But if you had your own one, There's you a could point for it. plug it in. Or you can pay extra to have the TV left in the room. Yeah, and you saw all the DVDs downstairs that you can borrow for free. Um, if you had the DVD player and TV that was still here, you could have watched them, but we just use our laptop for stuff like that. So we said, take it out the prize, boy. There's another desk here with a big mirror. Yep, for the ladies. And we have a massive drawer, which has Eden's lead in it so far. For the ladies again. Some kind of bin. A bin. Yep, and okay. More mirror space. A massive wardrobe. One side, two big drawers. For the ladies. <laughs> I do, I do. And also opens up on this side too for another huge cupboard with a hanging rack and a little shelf space up here for those items that you want to forget about. Large. That is not the end of the tour. There is also the bathroom to see and the balcony. So let's go and see that. Okay, into the bathroom. Surprisingly, this bathroom is actually a little bit larger than the one that we had in our three bedroom farmhouse in Chiang Rai. So um, that's good comes with this massive shower with an actual door on it because one thing I hated about our old house was after you had a shower it was it was a wet room and there was it became a wet room and you had to literally um, squeegee it up every single time you came out of the shower or you couldn't use the toilet or brush your teeth without getting wet feet so having an enclosed unit is wonderful and it's all tiled yeah all tiled nice tiling and there's two lights in here Obviously there is a sink and there is a toilet too and they provided us with a little bin so we didn't need to bring our own and a mirror and some ventilation up here, you get light. And then something I've come to expect with every apartment I've stayed in, the balcony. So let's go and have a look. And this is the view from the balcony. okay now there are units on either side so I guess the view is different over there obviously um, also comes with a outdoor sink so your kitchen is basically semi outdoors here because that's the only kitchen sink and then there's the bathroom sink obviously balconies big enough to put a chair a couple of chairs on and walk around so you could have like a little uh, morning breakfast out here it's not bad for the price very 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 cheap for a Bangkok apartment Pet friendly. So, oh, just lost my dog. <laughs> a quick recap we are paying 8,000 baht per month because we're taking it for four months. 500 baht for Eden, 300 baht for the fridge. And yeah. internet is included in the internet. rental price yes. as well. And so. we used to pay 700 baht a month for our internet, so that's a 700 baht saving. And, and electricity and water we have to pay monthly top. but obviously we don't know how much that is yet and we obviously need to explore the area and find out what's around but if you keep watching our videos of our life in bangkok you will see more and more of this apartment <laughs> more and more of the local amenities 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 depends where you're from <laughs> decide for yourself if this is worth it to you so pet friendly apartment in bangkok so oh. far so good 8,500 baht a month. Mm. We are going to wrap this up now, but that was our apartment tour. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more Bangkok videos. See you next time. Bye. You've got nice and cozy, Dan. Mm-hmm. <laughs>